Hi, Aware users. This video is going to show the online test proctoring for teachers and a few helpful hints along the way. Uh, let's go to the Students tab first. I'm going to type in all just to get the list of all the students here. You can also put in their first name or their last name or their student ID to get a particular student. Let me just click on a name here to get their information over here. If a student's logging into the AWARE online testing site and it doesn't work for some reason, uh, if it says invalid information or something like that, you can reset their password here. Now the teacher has to do this. The, those people on campus with campus access can't. It has to be the teacher. And you would put in their password here two times and click OK. And that'll reset their password so that they'll be able to log in now. And the other thing I wanted to show you here is student supports. Any of these boxes that are checked or have X's in them, uh, the student will receive this support on every test that he takes in AWARE that's online. And the teacher cannot change these. They can view them, of course. We, we see them right here. But someone with access to the whole campus would have to set these. OK, let's go back to Analyze and Tests Available. This is where a teacher will always go to start an online test. Whether it's a teacher test, campus, or district, they'll go to Test Available. It groups your tests teacher test, district test. If you had any school assessments, they'll be in here in the middle. And if you have a really long list of teacher tests, uh, you can always go in and archive your tests. The tests will still be there. You can still use them again, make a copy to use again next year. And uh, the only thing that archiving will do right now is uh, it'll clean up this list. So it'll be fewer tests in the list and easier to find. Now we can use these filters over here, uh, my teacher tests to show just those, or district assessments. And so you can narrow it down to a few tests if you have a really long list. I'm going to start with this test right here. And for online test proctoring, we need to click on this little computer. And it'll add a check mark there. Next, we're going to go to Online Test Proctoring. And when you first start a test, it's going to look something like this. All the students say unavailable, not started. And here, before you start the test, here's support. You can edit the supports. You can add some, or you could turn some off and save it. Now, this will only be for this test. And this might be useful if if you have a student that you think maybe doesn't need the supports anymore, you could take them off for this one test to see if they still do pretty good on the test. Or if you have a student that you think may need supports and you try them with these supports to see if they'll do better on the test. So you can see about getting these supports for them all the time. OK, right now it says unavailable for each of these students. If you want to start it for everybody, you can just do start all up here. And that makes it available for everybody. I'm going to stop all so I can show you another option. Uh, you can do select all. And let's say these two students are absent. So we'll uncheck theirs. And we're only going to start it for those selected. So see, it says available by those students we selected. And it still says unavailable by the two that are absent. Now, this is a good idea to do this because um, those students that are not in class can still access this test from home. Um, and it's always a good idea to start a test for a class period. When that class period's over, stop that test, and then start it for the next class. That way, the students won't be able to access the test outside of the classroom. OK, I'm going to go ahead and stop this test for these students. 
And let me show you what it looks like once the students have started taking the test and it's in progress. See, we have some students here that have graded. That means they're completely finished with the test. Here's some that are not started. Inactive means they started the test, but they've logged out and they haven't finished the test yet. And then completed means they finished the test, but there's still some teacher graded, graded questions that have to be scored. And you won't be able to see data for this student until that's scored. It also has a summary up here. It'll tell you how many students are in each group, uh, each how, progress, how much progress they've made on the test, completed and graded. And these students who are already graded, if for some reason you want to let them back in the test, maybe they hit submit accidentally or, or you're allowing the kids to redo the test, you can click right here to reopen the test and see now it's available for that one student and it'll say not started until they actually log in and start the test again. Uh, now let's say you wanted to force submit a test for a student for some reason. Maybe they were cheating or something. You want to click on this force submit and it'll say graded and now the student will be locked out of that test because they've it's been graded already. And then after this you'd want to like I said, you can go on to the next period to start it and then stop it and then the next period start it and then stop it when they're done. But when you're all through, you want to go back here to test available. When everybody's through with this test and you probably aren't going to go back to it anymore, uh, click on this online test proctoring again. And just like the tests listed here, uh, to keep the list in your online test proctoring clean, uh, you want to uncheck these. And there's also, let me turn this one back on so you can see right here, one of the filters, here's included. Those are all the ones that are going to be included in this online test proctoring. And you can do that if you want to see, if you have a long list here and you want to see, uh, are there any tests I can remove from online test proctoring to clean up my list? or to see which, just to see which ones are still there. So if I take that off, now of course it's not included anymore. So I'll remove that check mark and I can see all my tests. And that's uh, basically the online test proctoring for teachers.